State Representative Robert Goforth won his reelection bid on Tuesday despite being indicted recently for allegedly attacking his wife. LEX 18's Eleanor Buckley spoke with a domestic violence advocate who voiced concerns about his victory. Emily Lodges, sir, watched in disbelief on Tuesday as she saw votes get tallied in. It was shocking, honestly. She was not reelected to Berea City Council, but says she was more upset when she learned a man facing domestic violence charges won his race. I think a lot of us around here thought Mike was going to going to beat him and handily. Republican Robert Goforth was the incumbent candidate for the 89th district representative seat and was running against Democrat Mike Van Winkle. Goforth won by over 70% of the votes, a landslide victory, despite being indicted by a grand jury in September for allegedly attacking his wife at their Laurel County home back in April. Police say Goforth tried to hog tire and threatened to kill her over a cell phone dispute. What does this mean? Um, is he able to serve if he's gonna be at court hearings all the time or you know, if he gets convicted, what does that mean? Laju Sir says she hopes his victory doesn't dissuade other women from coming forward in the future. I myself am a survivor of domestic abuse and for me it was, it's one big slap in the face and I think I think for victims, I think it makes it even harder to speak out at this point because who's going to listen? Goforth has pled not guilty to the charges against him. We reached out to him several times for a comment, but he has not responded. Eleanor Buckley, LEX 18 News.